Once upon a time in a kingdom far, far away, there lived a beautiful young girl named Rapunzel. She had long flowing hair that shone like spun gold and was so long that it reached the bottom of the tall tower she was kept in. Rapunzel was not always a prisoner of the tower. Her story began with an enchanting twist. Rapunzel's mother had fallen ill while she was still in her womb. To save her life, her parents had sought the help of a magical flower that could heal any ailment. The flower was found in a hidden grove in the depths of the forest. They used the flower's magical powers to heal the queen, and she gave birth to a healthy baby girl. They named her Rapunzel, after the very flower that had saved her mother's life. News of the magical flower's powers reached a wicked sorceress named Gothel. She desired the flower's magic for herself, believing it would make her the most powerful sorceress in the land. One night, she crept into the palace, stole the infant Rapunzel, and locked her away in a tall tower hidden deep within the forest. Rapunzel's parents were heartbroken and searched for her in vain. As the years passed, Rapunzel grew into a beautiful and kind-hearted young woman. She had no idea of her true identity or the outside world, for Mother Gothel told her that the tower was the only place she would ever be safe. To reach her, Mother Gothel would call out, Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. And Rapunzel, having the long golden hair, would lower it down to Mother Gothel. One day, as fate would have it, a brave and dashing young prince named Eugene happened upon the tower while exploring the forest. He heard Rapunzel singing, and the sweet, melodic voice captured his heart. He watched in awe as Mother Gothel called for Rapunzel to let down her hair. The prince was determined to meet this enchanting singer, so he waited until Mother Gothel left and then called out the same words. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair, he cried. Rapunzel, curious and trusting, did as she was told and lowered her long, golden locks. Eugene climbed the tower, and when he reached the top, Rapunzel was shocked to see a stranger. But Eugene's charm and kindness quickly won her over. He explained that he had heard her singing and just wanted to meet her. Rapunzel was fascinated by the outside world, and Eugene promised to take her there. They hatched a plan to escape from Mother Gothel, and with Rapunzel's magical hair and Eugene's resourcefulness, they managed to get away. Their journey was filled with adventure, danger, and love. Along the way, they discovered Rapunzel's true heritage as a princess and the power of her magical hair. They encountered ruffians, royal guards, and even the wrath of Mother Gothel, who pursued them relentlessly. In the end, it was Rapunzel's love for Eugene that unlocked the full potential of her hair, revealing its healing powers once more. Rapunzel and Eugene returned to the kingdom, where Rapunzel was joyfully reunited with her parents, who had never given up hope of finding her. The kingdom celebrated their return, and Rapunzel's magical hair was used for the greater good. Rapunzel and Eugene were married, and they lived happily ever after, using their newfound knowledge and experiences to become wise and just rulers. The story of Rapunzel and her long golden hair became a beloved legend in the kingdom, reminding everyone of the power of love, hope, and the magic within us all. The moral of the story of Rapunzel is that love, courage, and the pursuit of one's dreams can lead to liberation from the confines of a sheltered existence. It illustrates the power of resilience and determination to overcome adversity. Additionally, the story emphasizes that genuine love and compassion are stronger than any form of captivity or deception. Rapunzel's journey from isolation to freedom serves as a reminder that, when faced with challenges, one should remain hopeful, trust in their inner strength, 
and be open to the opportunities that lie beyond their comfort zone. Thanks for watching, you guys.